You might not like it, but we did a thing. We sat down and thought about the best watches Seiko has manufactured since their founding way back when. Of course, it's common knowledge that Seiko is among the top five best watch brands today, probably though, and they've released a lot of watches. So it was hard to do this, and you may disagree with us on a lot of them, but let's talk about the top 10 iconic Seiko watches. One of them will leave you drooling. Again, it was really, really hard to choose. Here are the top 10 absolutely best Seiko watches of all time in no particular order, and according to us, of course. Seiko Presage SARY055. There were many different Presage models introduced during its debut, but the Presage SARY055 stood out as particularly noteworthy. This affordable watch quickly became a top seller. Elegant in appearance and presentation, the cost is, well, reasonable. It has a 41mm case with a beautiful brushed stainless steel finish. The dial is beautiful and simple to read thanks to its silver and white colour scheme with blue hands and hour markers. The watch features a sapphire crystal that is both scratch-proof and resistant to water pressure up to 100 metres. The watch's large case and bracelet give it a masculine look that's actually out of place on a dressier timepiece. However, this strap can be swapped out for a thinner one. Next is the Seiko 7A28-7090 Yacht Timer. Folks, there is no denying that the 7A287090 Yacht Timer is one of the most aesthetically pleasing chronographs ever created. It's so beautiful that you could put it next to a collection of antique wristwatches without batting an eye. We chose it not only because it is aesthetically pleasing, but also because it is an excellent example of the 7A28 mechanism. Now that inexpensive quartz chronographs are ubiquitous at your neighbourhood department store, it's easy to forget that Seiko was the first to market this innovation all the way back in 1982. Indeed, they pioneered the quartz chronograph with their 7A28 model. And it's a beast. No jokes. It's completely jeweled and accurate to within a twentieth of a second. In addition, the finishing work on this timepiece is excellent. The Yacht Timer version first appeared about 1982 and lasted for a brief period of time. The dial's attention to detail and the 40mm blasted steel casing together make for an excellent timepiece. There aren't many of these watches floating around and when one does pop up it usually goes for $1,500 or more. Up next is the Seiko Marine Master 300. Interestingly, for an entire generation of watch enthusiasts, the Seiko Marine Master 300 was the benchmark of luxury at an affordable price. We don't think modern collectors appreciate the enormous impact this watch had because of how swiftly the world has changed and because there are so many Seiko divers to choose from. Many called this watch the Rolex Beta from year 2000 until about 2015, declaring that for around $1,500 there was no reason to buy anything else. The SBDX001 and its successor, the SBDX017, had a monoblock casing, an 8L35 movement produced in the same factory as Grand Seiko, and a water resistance of 300 meters. The diameter is 44 millimeters and the thickness is 15 millimeters, yet the short lugs make it comfortable to wear. The Seiko Marine Master 300 should be near the top of any list of the best Seiko watches since it provides excellent value for its relatively low price, as is customary for a Seiko. The price of a brand new MM300 is close to $3,000 and a pre-owned original Marine Master 300 isn't far off that price. But you should give these watches a shot. They won't go out of style anytime soon and you can count on them forever. Then we've got the Seiko Sumo. The designers of the 2007 Seiko SBDC001 Professional High-End Automatic Driver drew direct influence from the Japanese wrestling tradition. You might not know this, but the Hancock and Sopo, two traditional sumo wrestler body types, inspired the case's design. Later, it earned the name Sumo because of this fact. Parker's 12 o'clock position is also shorthand for the wet top knot used by sumo wrestlers. Next is the Seiko Shogun SBDC007. This fearsome upper-end automated diver is huge, bold and tough, doing its namesake proud. 
Introduced in 2008, the SBDC007 immediately became renowned as this shogun, a hereditary commander-in-chief of feudal Japan. These military dictators would often be shown in their full armor, which watch aficionados found similar to the forms and pointed design elements seen all over the watch. While the SBDC 001, 003 and 005 are centered around stainless steel construction, the SBDC 007 employs hardened titanium, which Seiko calls a dire shield. The SBDC 007 also employs a separate bezel, distinctive handset and markers for the dial design, allowing it to aesthetically bridge the space between SKX, SRP, SBDC lines and spring drive Grand Seiko dives like the SBDB 001. Still retaining the same 6R15 movement, Hardlex crystal and 200 meter water resistance featured in the SBDC 001, 003, 005, the 007 is a less dressy platform that would still make for one hell of an amazing daily watch. Up next is the Seiko Alpinist SARB 017. We go on to another previous forum star, our top 10 Seiko list. People would rave about the Alpinist SARB 017 across all media. Powered by the 6R15 automatic movement, it gave a work watch a touch of class. Moreover, the SARB 017 was available in a unique green hue not found in any other mass market timepiece. The secondary crown on the SARB Alpinist watches controls the in-house compass bezel. The watch's purposeful 39.5mm steel casing and 200m water resistance further emphasise its athletic focus. Sunburst dial, gold indexes and cathedral hands create a sophisticated contrast. It's a complicated timepiece, but that could be one of its selling points. Then we've got the Seiko Tuna 61597010. Without the tuner, we really can't imagine making a list of the top 10 Seikos. For six years after problems with the brand's first professional divers, the 1968-1969 6159 7000 and 7001 series occurred at depth. Seiko focused on other areas before re-entering the deep water arena. When they got back, they bought a dive watch that was totally new to the industry. The 61597010 maintained the high beat mechanism but introduced a radical new tuner inspired lugless 50mm monoblock casing. Its innovative titanium 600m case design was the first of its kind and it featured a unique L shaped rubber gasket that rendered a helium valve superfluous. The tuner's size and industrial aesthetic may not appeal to everyone. Even yet, its unique design is a triumph of form over function and it sets apart from any other dive watch. These timepieces won't keep you on time as a conventional diver's watch would, but they're a lot of fun to talk about. Up next is the popular Seiko Prospects Mechanical Dive Watch. Now those with larger wrists will appreciate the Seiko Prospects Diver Watch. The diameter of the housing is 44.5 millimeters, a mechanical self-winding diver's watch that exudes manliness indeed. All the indicators and numbers on the screen are bold and simple to read. The markers and hands have been coated with loom so they can be seen in dim conditions. The watch can withstand depths of up to 200 meters of water, making it perfect for swimmers, divers and other water sports enthusiasts. This model's popularity can be attributed to the fact that it can be worn in a variety of settings, from business to leisure and back again. Next is the Seiko Premier Novak Dokovic Special Edition. Folks, when it comes to aesthetics, this is easily among the best Seiko designs to date. It's a limited edition timepiece that was made in collaboration with tennis legend Novak Dokovic. The watch's outstanding visual contrast is the result of a black dial serving as the background and rose gold tones serving as the case and opposing parts. It's a wonderful touch that they used Roman numerals for the dates and that they've included a perpetual calendar that goes all the way to 2100. Moreover, Dokovic has signed the back of the watch. Pretty cool, right? And of course, we've got the Seiko Flightmaster Chronograph. 
You see, the Flightmaster Chronograph is one of Seiko's speciality watches. This particular timepiece is known as a pilot's watch for good reason. The capabilities go well beyond those of a conventional watch. A pilot may be able to make effective use of all these features, but the average person can be overwhelmed by them. It has a stainless steel case and bezel and measures 41 millimeters in diameter. The dial is blue and has a stopwatch, a slide rule for calculating flight data, a unidirectional bezel and water resistance to a depth of 100 meters. Because the inner numbers are hidden behind the glass and the outer numbers are displayed in the front, this model isn't the simplest to read. Nonetheless, it serves a unique purpose and its users will love it much. And so do we. And that's our list. But which of them came as a shock to you? We are dying to hear.